After the grand jury in Staten Island chose not to indict a police officer in the chokehold death of Eric Garner, civil rights leaders, also disturbed by the events in Ferguson, Missouri, called for a national day of protest. From New York to Oakland and dozens of places in between today came the response. Thousands of protesters demanding better treatment for minorities from police. It was mostly peaceful on the streets today, though demonstrators and police did clash in Boston, where state police arrested 23 people at a highway on-ramp. We have two reports tonight, beginning with Juliana Goldman in Washington. Jim, organizers say tens of thousands of people gathered here today. They came from all walks of life to protest the deaths of unarmed black men and boys at the hands of law enforcement. Their message for the nation's leaders, that the status quo is unacceptable. Standing side by side, the families of Michael Brown, Eric Garner, Tamir Rice, and Trayvon Martin marched down Pennsylvania Avenue to the U.S. Capitol calling for justice. Gwen Carr's son was Eric Garner. We need to stand like this at all times. You know, and you know, our sons, you know, they may not be here in body, but they're here with us in each and every one of you. Y'all brought them here today. Tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Garner was killed in a chokehold by New York City police last July. Earlier this month, a Staten Island grand jury decided not to indict the officer. A week earlier, a grand jury in Ferguson, Missouri, reached the same conclusion in the shooting death of 18-year-old Michael Brown. Leslie McSpadden is Brown's mother. What a sea of people. If they don't see this and make a change, then I don't know what we got to do. Al Sharpton's National Action Network organized Saturday's March for Justice. We have the same goal, and that is equal protection under the law. And that's not black against white, it's right against wrong. Sheila Williams marched with two of her sons. If we don't make a change, then he's going to be one of the Trayvon Martins or the Michael Browns. And I'm trying to come out here and let them see what's going on and hopefully make history. Juliana Goldman, CBS News, Washington. I'm Jerika Duncan at the Millions March in New York City. Here, an overflow of demonstrators shut down parts of Manhattan. Families who've lost loved ones at the hands of police led the march, which started in Washington Square Park. Black lives matter. Signs Black like this stated matter. Ferguson Black is everywhere, while the sounds of the crowd added to the calls for a more just society. Nicole Bell was front and center. She's the fiance of Sean Bell, who was unarmed when police gunned him down in 2006, the morning of his wedding. Nicole says the marches are not about just losing black lives. Everyone is outraged, and not just because we're black, but because we're human. And we know that this is a, a human um, crisis, not just a black crisis. If you look out in the crowd, this is everyone's problem. 30-year-old Matthew McLeod has participated in several marches in the last week. We are giving voice to something that's important. So if we say something that is then heard by someone else, then, then yeah, it's worth it for everyone to be here. People of all races and ages walk side by side. Hands up! Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands Police line the four-mile route, unfazed by the chance criticizing them. Officer Capers called the protest peaceful. And it's America. You get to express your feelings. I don't have any thoughts on it at all. I mean, the system will, you know, deal with it. And I'm just here to do my job, just to keep this safe and peaceful. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! The organizers of the march had a number of demands that include the firing of the officer involved in the Eric Garner case. And, Jim, they also want the NYPD to create a training program that specifically addresses police brutality. Jerika, thank you.